I have a copy of the Wall Street Journal from a year ago, the day after Evan was arrested. I find it very difficult to look at this front page. When you look at that photo, how does it make you feel? It was hard to look at it when it just happened. It was so hard to admit. If you admit it, it you make it real. And I don't want it to be real. Yeah. So that's uh, still painful Yeah. to look at. How about you, Mikhail? The same. It's, it's still painful to look at. One year ago, Wall Street Journal reporter Evan Gushkovich was arrested during a reporting trip in Russia. Evan, who was accredited by Russia's foreign ministry to work in the country as a journalist, was accused of espionage, a charge the US government, the journal, Evan and his family strongly deny. Though he's had about a dozen hearings, a trial date has yet to be set. What can you tell us about how Evan is after a year in this Le Fortovo prison? He's managing the best way he can in a tiny space, one hour of uh, walking outside, six steps, six steps, six steps. He has been uh, exercising, meditating, uh, reading a lot, answering letters, knowledge of Russian language, the culture helped him to adjust to this situation. How do you feel when you see, when you catch glimpses of your son on television? Well, I usually, I know the court dates, I stay up, I wait for those first pictures, and um, it's a mixed emotion. It's, uh, I like to see that uh, he is uh, well, doing well, but at the same time, it's so sad mm. to look. What are you looking for when you look at those images? Is there anything that you're really focusing on? Of course. I've noticed that his shoulders are a lot stronger. <laughs> now the, from all the exercise, I uh, see if he got a haircut, the way he looks. Uh, at some point, he looked uh, a lot thinner than he's looking right now. You know, it's like a mother notices everything. I mean, he's often smiling, sometimes even laughing. Is that very much Evan? Does that make you feel better that he's in good spirits? Yes. Definitely. That's what I'm looking for when I look at those pictures. A lot has happened since Evan was detained. There was the mutiny over the summer with Evgeny Prigozhin. Other US citizens have been detained. And the death of Alexei Navalny. Mikhail, how do you feel when these big world events happen, which somehow or other these days touch on your own son's fate? I have to put on the blinders. I think about my son. Uh, of course, uh, there are a lot of uh, upsetting uh, events, but I have one goal at the moment. Throughout the year, President Biden has said that bringing Evan home is a priority. We're working every day to secure his release. Something he reiterated in his State of the Union address. We will also work around the clock to bring home Evan and Paul, Americans being unjustly detained by the Russians. That's where trust and faith is in the U.S. government. It's also the case that Vladimir Putin has commented on Evan, and um, this was his response when he was asked if he would release your son. We are willing to solve it. But there are certain terms being discussed via special services channels. I believe an agreement can be reached. Well, we were very much encouraged that there is a path between two governments, U.S. government and uh, Russia, to reach some kind of uh, an agreement for to bring Evan home. Do you think that Evan is being used as a pawn in a wider geopolitical story? Definitely. We, we know that he is uh, innocent of what he's being accused of. He's a journalist. And um, we're not going to speculate on the politics of it. Do you think it's getting harder for him as the time passes? I'm sure. I'm sure it takes toll. It takes toll on us. It it's definitely takes toll on him. He worries about us so much. He wouldn't really 
uh, reveal a lot, but we still know that it, it's taken toll. Do you think Evan is trying to protect you somewhat? Of course. Of course, definitely. But on the other hand, he knows that we are doing well and we are strong. He put the bar up high and we need to follow his example. There's been so much support for Evan um, since he was detained. What has that support meant for you? Well, we were in such shock when this whole thing happened. At first it was hard to accept even, but then it was just like avalanche and uh, gave us so much energy. The letters, support for Evan, all of it. It's wonderful. It feels a little bit like uh you're sharing the burden with a lot of people. Um, it's huge. Do you ever allow yourselves to think about the day that Evan walks free? Oh, definitely. <laughs> definitely, many times. We know what we're going to do. We have a family vacation. <laughs> and uh, we already know how it's going to play out. And what do you look forward to most about having him back? The conversations. The laughs. The jokes, yeah. good and bad. Yes. <laughs> there are no bad jokes. <laughs> the touch. Hmm. My son is, I miss my son.